Hi guys, welcome back. This is Professor Rank, and in this video, we're going to talk about um, combined assignment and multiple assignment in C++. So let's go ahead and get started. So for both of these types of operations, what you have is essentially shortcuts, right? So these are options for you when you're writing your code, but they're they're not required at all, right? And so you know the first example, the first thing we'll talk about is multiple assignment. And uh, multiple assignment is just when you assign the contents of one variable to multiple variables all in one statement. So this is an example right here, A equals B equals C equals D. So what you're gonna end up with here is you're gonna end up with the contents of D being assigned to C, which in turn gets assigned to B, which in turn gets assigned to A. So this D uh, variable is being assigned to C, B, and A. Right, so that is a, a shorthand way of doing this, right? You could do either one. You could have just this one multiple assignment statement, or you could have three separate assignment statements, whichever you prefer. Okay, um, which one's better? Pick one, right? It's, it's, uh, it's, it's purely preference. I mean, these are gonna get translated into the same instructions by the compiler. So it's just whichever one you prefer. Um, the combined assignment operators, these are also shortcuts too. And so um, plus equals is the same thing as doing something like this. So let's say that I say x plus equals 5. Okay. Um, that is just shorthand for saying x equals x plus 5. Either way, you're getting a um, value of 5 added to whatever x has in it, right? So x is increasing by 5. All right, so let's take a look at a um, programming example. All right, so I've got um, Visual Studio fired up. I got an int main already set up, got a project for us here. And so, um, yeah, I mean, let's just, let's just check this out. So let's say that I got um, int A, um, int B, int C, and int D, and I've initialized um, D to five, right? So if I was to see out D and run that, you know, you're gonna see the five in there, right? So, you know, no big deal. Nothing too exciting about that. Now what's an A, B, and C? I don't, I don't know, I haven't assigned anything uh, to those variables yet. But let's say that I initialize each one of them to just uh, zero, okay? So I got something like that. And then I could easily show you that, you know, the contents of A um, is zero, right? And since B and C both have zero in them, you know, I could I could easily do C out B and C. It would just show you the same thing. Now, what if I wanted A, B, C, and D to all have five inside of them, right? Well, then that's where multiple assignment can come in. Right? So I could do something. Uh, like like this, A equals B equals C equals D, right? And then if I see out A and B, oops, and C and D, you're gonna see that, um, you know, it's all fives, right? Because that five that was in D got assigned to C, and then the five that was in C got assigned to B, and then the five that was in B got assigned to A. So that five made it into all four variables, right? That's all, that's that's multiple assignment. So that's, again, that's just shortcut, a shortcut to avoid, you know, having to do something like this, you know, um, A equals D, B equals D, C equals D, right? Which one's better pick, you know? I probably, my, myself, I probably prefer to do it that way um, just because fewer lines of code, but again, it doesn't matter. Okay, so, um, what about uh, combined assignment? Okay, so let me delete this stuff and get it out of the way. So let's talk about the combined assignment operators. Okay, the uh, combined combined assignment operators. Right. So um, x plus equals five, as I was saying, that's just short for uh, x equals x plus five. Or since I didn't create an x variable, how about we um, call it d, right? 
So D's still got that 5 in it. So if I see out D, you're going to see the 5 again. So there you go. Now, if I wanted to increase um, D by 5, right, I could do um, D equals D plus 5. Right? And then if I see out D, you know, because the uh, expression over here evaluates first, and then the result of that gets us overwrites what's on the left hand side, it's going to take that 5 that's in D, right? And then that's going to have this 5 added to it. So 5 plus 5 is 10. And then that 10, which is the result, is going to then um, overwrite the 5 that was in D. And so line 22 is going to show us 10. Okay. So there you go. Now, um, now, you can write this way and it works, works fine, works just great, you know, but let's say that you had a variable name, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, right? Well, I don't even know how to spell that, but whatever. Um, it might be kind of an annoying or obnoxious to have to write that out a couple of times, right? So instead we can just use the uh, combined assignment operator, okay? And so this um, plus equals two is a shortcut for D equals D plus two, right? So what are we gonna see as a result of um, line 27? All right, there's gonna be 12 because there was 10 after we added five to it on line 20 and then we just added two uh, to it in line uh, 25. Okay, so you've got, um, a version of this for every arithmetic operator, right? So this is a shortcut for D equals D minus three, okay? So what will we see after we subtract three from D? Well, we're gonna be down to nine, right? Because line 25 added two to the 10, that was 12, and then line 26 subtracted three, that brought you down to a nine, okay? Now I can also do multiplication Okay, and so this is a shortcut for D equals D times two. So then when this line 27 is finished, um, that's gonna give us 20, uh, or 18, 18, right? Because line 26, the result of line 26 was um, nine. And so then the result of line 27 is gonna be 18, right? Because here we had 10 and then this gave us 12. And then this guy, subtract three from that 12, give us nine. And so multiply nine times two is 18, right? And then that overwrites what was in D, which was the nine, okay? Uh, you can also do division, right? So this is the same thing as saying D equals D divided by three. So that's gonna give us what, six, okay? Because the 18 that was in D, you divide that by three, and then the result there is six, which then replaces the uh, 18 that was in D. So there's your six, All right? Um, and then finally, you also got your modulus too, okay? So D modulus equals, um, oh, four, okay? And what's that uh, short for? Okay, that is short for D equals D modulus four, right? And so what that's doing, is that's taking whatever was in D, and at that point it was six, dividing it by four, and then showing you the remainder, right? Because that's what modulus division does. So that remainder two should um, be what's in D at this point. And so there it is, okay? So that's it. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video. Like I said, short and sweet. You know, you've got your multiple assignment that you can do, um, and the, all of the all of the C++ like languages support it, Java, Python, and C, C++. And then you got these combined assignment uh, operators, right? And um, that's it, I mean, that's how they work. And I used integers for this example, but you know, it'll hold true for, you know, floating point numbers as well. Okay, I mean, with the exception of, um, of modulus, because modulus is only four integers, but there you go, okay? All right, so that's everything. Okay, so that's going to bring this video to a close. If you felt that the video was useful, please consider giving the video a thumbs up and 
If you thought that the video sucked, well then you've got that thumbs down button as an option as well. If you'd like to see more videos, if you're interested in more content from the channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And as usual, if you're a student of mine and you have further questions, feel free to drop me an email or to stop by my office hours. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.